these are the walk snail avatar hd goggle x i plan to get into the hd system of fpv flying and all my builds from now on are going to become hd uh, with the fpv uh, i got these sent from our local hobby store and I'm going to give you a, a bit of a run through of what's in the box and what you get in the way of value for these for these goggles. I've heard some good reports, I've heard some bad reports. So inside the box you get a nice case that it comes in, a little Ziploc case. In the top here is your power cable so you can connect a battery anywhere from I believe two uh, cell battery up to a six cell um, probably wouldn't recommend going six if you can I'd, I'd, I'd sit it around the four I reckon it's probably pretty acceptable or three 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 s uh, the goggles themselves look very nice I do like the look of these uh, it's kind of what won me not only that um, they've got a lot of different features and uh, the um, analog input as all my planes currently fly analog so we've got a proximity sensor in the middle between the two uh, optics you've got adjusters on the bottom they move in and out and they also turn for focus to uh, suit your eyes I'm not sure how well um, glasses go inside them I don't wear glasses so the proximity sensor in the middle here detects your face as you put it on and when, when you take them off the lenses uh, turn off to save battery power which isn't a bad idea. I got a bit of cooling, an outlet vent on the bottom, removable antennas so you can replace those. I'll be looking at upgrading these as well as um, I start getting myself set up with the receiver. Now you've got two uh, HDMI ports, an in and an out. Quite handy for if you want to uh, use a simulator, I guess. You should be able to hook it up to your computer. Um, same as if you want to share video footage while you're flying. You can also hook that up to an, another screen uh, if you want to show your friends. You've also got the analog input as well. Um, just on the other side of that as well as your SD card slot there so the analog pin requires a five port uh, three and a half mil audio plug um, I'm yet to uh, find one yet they're a bit hard to find but yeah I'll... that's to get your analog working I have heard some reports mixed reports about that it's not totally usable at this stage um, I guess we'll find out. I watched a couple of videos on this and um, seems to be a bit of an issue which is a bit disappointing um, as I really want to fly with these goggles with my analog FPV setups as they are currently before I spend a lot of money to upgrade all my planes and some I don't even know if I will upgrade. So at the top you've got a five-way toggle switch which accesses your menu. Uh, below that you've got a you got your record button at the bottom and you've got like a back button or an OK button in the middle. Two breathable vents in the centre there. Great looking pair of goggles, I, th I think they are and I'd like to hear anyone else's thoughts that have bought these and are already running them. The rubber here uh, looks, it's removable, it's all velcroed on. Possible light leakage, I reckon around there if you're out in the bright sunny daylight. I can't see how you would how it's going to block 100% of the light around there but yeah, it is good that you can remove that just with the velcro and replace it as it wears it, it, it can run anywhere from seven and a half volts I believe up to 22 and a half I'm going to be running them on a 4s battery should be enough so when you power them up your LEDs on the front come on I've got mine set to red they are um, they are changeable uh, to what you like. I believe you've got blue and you've got green. And also you can take off the, uh, the front section there. I believe that's where the receiver the receivers sit. So I think you can 
upgrade the receivers if you choose to change them out you can do so so the AV port as I said it's five pole three and a half mil audio port which is needed so the menu uh, you've got your standard display at the bottom there with all your battery voltage your signal etc or SD card slot space all the stuff there you can read if you want to pause it the menus you've got four tabs you got your channel tab which shows all your signals and all the channels that you'll probably be flicking through to to get the best range uh, your settings will be what you use the most I would imagine with your resolution in there your um, uh, all sorts of stuff in there I can't exactly show you because I can't record it so these are just screenshots and playback so you can play back any footage that you've recorded Let's just have a look in the settings here. If we go down, I believe you can change the colour of the light. So you got red, green, blue, and close. Into blue. That turns it off. That's close. We we'll go green. There's your green ones. I think I like the red. I'm a red person. Not a huge amount I can uh, actually go in there with you now because I haven't got anything else set up. So, pretty much it, guys. That's the Goggles X for you. Pretty keen to have a try with these when we get some cooler weather at the moment and get out there and try a bit of HD flying in the uh, in the 2024 season. If anyone else has got a pair of these that they've been using, can you just let me know what your thoughts are with them? Um, I was tossing up between these and the the DJI, but I preferred what sounded better with these was the analog function. So if I can't use the analog function on them, then I'm a bit disappointed with that if they don't get that one fixed. Because a lot of my planes, especially my Tundra, I don't even think I'll put into HD. It'll just be nice to be able to use both on one set of decent goggles. So fingers crossed for that. Alright guys, Happy New Year and see you next time. Bye for now.